The end of Cold War Zombies is nearly upon us. And in today's video, we're going to be diving into some brand new DLC for Zombies information. We've got a map location, we've got map storyline, and this is all thanks to the new intels in Season 5 Reloaded. There is a lot of awesome stuff to get through in this video, so I highly encourage you to watch this all the way through to the end so you don't miss out on anything. I am more than ready for DLC 4, I know you guys are too, so let me know your thoughts in the comments below and leave a like for the YouTube algorithm. Jumping straight into things, Omega Group are planning a new operation. Gone are the days of Operatia and Verzia. Hello, Operatia is Bevitel. This order letter from Kravchenko to every member of Omega Group details that all ongoing operations across all departments are suspended until further notice. That means every department working in every outpost, including the Ural Mountains, to divert to support this new Operatia is Bevitel. And Kravchenko believes this operation will determine the future of Omega Group. And even has the cheek to end his letter with the words, We were the first, we are the last. Oh, Treyarch, why have you got to use those words? So what is Operatia Isba Vitel? Well, from this document written by William Peck, we can learn everything we need to know about this. So this is a report called Test Site Anna, which is going to be the location of our DLC for Zombies map. Now, what this Test Site Anna is going to be used for is to bring Zykov back out from the Dark Ether. If you remember, from the very start of the game, there was a stranger talking to us through the Dark Ether intels, revealed his identity as Zykov, a soldier who was sent into D Machina and locked away and has been stuck in the Dark Ether ever since. Dr. Peck and Omega believe that by saving Zykov, he'll be able to share key information about the Forsaken, who was the ultimate evil being that exists within the Dark Ether and reigns supreme among everything. Both Requiem and Omega want to destroy the Forsaken, but as we learn later in this video, Omega have other plans for the Forsaken. Now, in order to save Zykov, they're going to need an extreme amount of of primordial ether energy and test site Anna is the best option to run this operation. They use this as a test facility for Operatia and Verzia and it's already equipped to handle excess amounts of ethereum energy. Now if we look over to the right we can see a scrap of the map where test site Anna is going to be and it's really hard to judge just based off this scrap. However Dr. Peck does mention that test site Anna was used for Operatia and Verzia and there is a huge map in Firebase Z in the military command control room that shows all their test sites, including the scrap we see for test site Anna. Now, if you overlay the Firebase Z map with a real life map, you can notice the details below it of the Dead Sea, which gives us a great idea of this map being set somewhere in Ukraine. Now, quite a few community members also believe that if this is going to be based of a campaign mission, which every DLC map has been so far, this could be based off the mission Red Light, Green Light, which takes place in the Zakopatska Oblast in Ukraine. And everything about this mission just sounds very similar to what is being set up here with test site Anna. This massive main facility in the campaign mission could be exactly where we'll see the construction of the machine to bring Zykov back. I do think aesthetically this looks fantastic and I really can imagine this as a zombies map, especially when we look at the campaign mission that Mawa de Totem was based off. There was a lot there. Treyarch clearly are so stretched on resources and time as they're developing Vanguard that I would not be surprised if we see parts of this reused for this map. The outside bits with the base just look really, really cool and perfect aesthetics for a zombies map. But when we go inside, that's when I could actually really start to imagine if they were building a machine that is so big, that requires so much energy, it would look a little bit like the corridors that we're seeing here with woods. What was really interesting about this campaign mission is later on, you realize it's a Soviet training camp facility, which has been disguised as an American town. Now, I don't know for sure how much we'd see of this part in the zombies map. We could see all of it. We could see none of it. I really don't know. But this machine that Peck is building to get Zykov out the Dark Ether is far beyond just getting Zykov out the Dark Ether. Zykov himself has given Peck the schematics to build the machine to get him out. But on top of that, Omega are using this machine to get the Forsaken out. By the sounds of it, Omega want to manipulate Zykov in order to get the Forsaken out of the Dark Ether and use the Forsaken as their own energy source. That's the real truth behind Operatia is Bavitel, and we learn about it all in this radio here. What can I do to expedite you, David? Reallocate resources? Divert personnel to the project? Well, that would certainly help, provided it's not too much of a hassle. This is the only thing that matters. Consider it done. Thank you, Colonel. 
And the old war hero? Still planning to honor his side of the bargain? We bring him back to our reality, he'll help us stop the Forsaken. He thinks we want to kill it. Good. Let's keep it that way. Keep me informed, Tech. Without this David of yours, there is no Operatia Isbavitia. Now it gets even more suspicious that this plan that Peck and Kravchenko have is so secretive that even Jaeger and Gorev, their right hand men, don't know what's going on. On that particular topic, uh, perhaps we can discuss the interdimensional sized elephant in the room? The Forsaken? A solution is necessary. It must be dealt with. Ah, uh, of course, Dr. Jaeger, you are still coming up to speed. We are going to rebuild Pex Inversion Warheads. It is the only way to destroy the creature. Actually, Gorev, um, looks like you're the one still coming up to speed. We've moved in a different direction. What are you talking about? Colonel, there has been a change of plan, Gorev. Peck and I are developing a new solution for the Forsaken. Ah, is that so? Why was I not informed? All will become clear soon. Rest assured, if it is successful, it will mean salvation for the Soviet Union. Omega Group, all of us, we will be heralded as heroes. Now, for ages and ages, we have not trusted Zykov. We felt that there could be something evil about him. But in this radio transmission called Broken Trust, he's speaking to us, Requiem, and comes clean that whilst he's been speaking to us, he's also been in contact with Omega Group. And whether you were aware of it or not, it would be worse for him to pretend it is not so. But whilst we know now that Omega Group are going to manipulate him and only want to save him to somehow capture the Forsaken, he still believes that he just genuinely is going to be saved. And you can't help but feel potentially a little bit sorry for him as you hear in this radio here. Now, Omega has a plan to free me from this place. And I am inclined to accept, not simply to escape, but to stop the Forsaken. And I can only do that if I return home. So, if you no longer wish to be my friend, I understand. Or, if you can bring me home before Omega, so much the better. But whichever side frees me matters less than saving our world from the monster that devoured this one. Now what's wild is he makes a deal with Requiem, saying that if they can bring him home before Omega, he will join the strike team and fight shoulder to shoulder against the ultimate evil. If Requiem can bring me home for Omega, I will join your strike team. We will fight shoulder to shoulder against the ultimate evil. We can make this right, my friend. We can stop the Forsaken together. But first, by all that is holy, you have to get me out of here. Now, I don't know if Requiem actually going to take him up on that offer, but that would be a really cool final twist in this story to have him actually turn out to be a good person rather than an evil person. And from this Requiem radio, it seems both Carver and Weaver agree that they need to get Zykov out of the Dark Aether as it's their best ally in trying to defeat the Forsaken. I really hope the next word out of your mouth doesn't begin with Ravenoff. Ravenoff. He's no friend to Omega. And I think it could well prove valuable to us. There is another option. Or should I say, additional option. I know. Zykov. He may be the only one who truly knows the Forsaken. Are we suggesting we somehow break this lost Russian out of the Dark Aether? Poor bastard's been in there longer than anyone. And we need all the allies we can get. I understand that the Forsaken could prove to be a bigger threat than Omega and in desperate times they need to take desperate measures. But on top of getting just Zykov, Weaver also believes that Ravanov could be the ally that is going to help them turn the tide against the fight here. And as we learn in this radio here, Ravanov has the intel on Operatia is Bavitel. And whilst they don't quite see eye to eye, this conversation teaches us what Ravanov really cares about and it's really, really interesting. Hello? Steal all out the fucks to give, Weaver. Ravanoff. You shouldn't be calling. 
This line is monitored and recorded. Just talking to you could land my ass in a 6x4 dreamland. You will want to hear what I have to say, Weaver. As will your director, who, if I am not mistaken, is also listening in. I have done some thinking, some soul searching. I took what you said to heart. The one uh, made of ice. Get to the point. What do you want? Omega. Operatia Isvavitel. I know what it is. More importantly, I know where. There is a test site used in the early days of Operatia Inversia. It has been repurposed. That is all I can say for now. I'm gonna need more than that if you want to get back into my good graces. <laughs> uh, even after all this time, you are still not listening. That is not why I have ever done any of this. It has always been about doing the right thing. A courier will be delivering a parcel to Requiem's dead drop in Madrid. It contains everything I know. Why don't you come in? We can talk this out. And end up in that 6x4 room in Dreamland? I don't think so. Review the documents. Then we talk. And in return? What do you get out of all this? Your name cleared? Safe passage to the west? Yet. I want you to release Agent Maxis. I've come to understand you are still holding her in captivity. You know I can't make that call. But, as we both know, there is someone listening in who can. You know who you are. I'll see what I can do. But as you can tell from that, things are very heated between Weaver and Ravenov, and especially towards the director as well. Now, what's really interesting is all Ravenov wants in return for this information dump is just that Maxis is released, which goes to show that there is a real bond that he's grown with Samantha and is clearly not happy with how she's being treated. And if there's anything to go by with the other intels, they realize that Samantha is a very, very special person who's going to play a valuable role in Requiem's attempt to take down the Forsaken. Now, the last intel we'll touch on in this video is a monologue of sorts from Carvo, who's questioning us, Requiem, as to what's going to happen after this, and that this is the beginning of the end, the final act. Look, I gotta level with you. Soldier to soldier. Omega. The Forsaken. Something's going down here. General sense around the office is that we're headed towards some sort of conclusion. Act three time. If all goes well, the next operation will be the beginning of the end. So let me ask you, what about us? The shit we're in right now, this, this interdimensional warfare, we're well beyond classified here. You don't just get to walk away from this. So once this is over, once the good guys win, where are we going from here? I can't believe it's the second time in this video that Trioc have done that. Where are we going from here? Why are you doing this to us? But it looks like we're going to be going to Ukraine for the final DLC map, boys. Now, there is still more intels in this season reloaded update, and I'll be covering another video specifically on the director and Samantha really soon because it's messed up with that scenario. I'd love to know your thoughts and theories about DLC 4 down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, you learned something new, smack a like rating on the video before you leave as it really helps out the channel and be sure to subscribe to make your way back here because there's a lot more to come thank you very much for watching hopefully you learned something and i'll catch you for another one real soon